Okay, now let's see this question. This question came in gate 2012 for one mark. The question is, let WN and AN denote respectively the worst case and average case running time of any of an algorithm executed on an input of size N. Which one of the following is always true? So they are talking about worst case and average case running time. Let's solve it by an example. And let's take the example of quicksort. So what we are going to do, we know that in case of quicksort, uh, worst case and average case are different. So that will be a very prime example in order to solve this question. So we know that for quicksort, the worst case running time is how much? It's like order n square. And what is the average case running time? Average case running time is order n log n. Okay, this much you know. Now, this they are saying that let's consider this as worst w n. Okay, and they are saying this to be a n, which is average case. Okay, so average case running time and worst case running time for n elements. So w n a n we have denoted. Now, what do you, what can you say about the expressions n log n? and n square okay so if this is a n and this is w n then what can you say so basically see we can say two things something like this see n square is the upper bound for n log n right so n log n can be and it is strict upper bound right so can be written as order n square isn't it okay similarly n square can be written as omega n log n why because n log n will be definitely uh, limiting lower limit on n square so these two things we can say okay so if we fit in the expressions a n and w n what we can say we can say just n log n is what a n so we can say that a n is equal to order of w n right because w n is n square here we can say another thing also and in fact here from here also we can say because simply if we uh, invert uh, the side then big O changes to omega, big omega, right? So, we can directly say from here also that Wn is going to be big omega of An. So, these are the two things we can say and why we are doing this? Because they, are, they have given the options like that, that what, which of the following is correct. Now, here actually uh, you can see that none of them are correct, only one that is this C. An is equal to big O of Wn that is only correct others are not correct so uh, this you can definitely see that it is wrong a n is equal to theta theta is also wrong because only you can say about conclude about omega or big o what about this is uh, little o so a n is equal to little o w n but we can say, see here that it is big o what is little o so little o is actually if a function f n and g n we are comparing okay and if this gn is strictly bigger than fn asymptotically then we say that fn is equal to little o of gn okay okay and if it is less than or equal to then we say that fn is equal to big o of gn so this is the definition of little o and now here you say see that actually you can say n log n is equal to little o of n square definitely you can say why because asymptotically n square will be strictly bigger than n log n it is true but still this answer is wrong d because it is not going to be this uh, whatever worst case time is there that is not going to be strictly bigger in all cases for example what about other sorting algorithms or any other algorithm let's say which takes order n square 
in worst case also and order n square in average case also the, in that case uh, the expression for w n is also n square expression for a n is also n square so in that case this this thing is that a n is equal to little of w n will not hold because n square is not strictly bigger than n square right so i give you an example why this is wrong and other examples we can clearly see why they are wrong so c is the answer